So Lee, having watched this um, film through once, um, have you got any experiences that you can um, relate to us? Have you got an ex- have you got an example of when you've met him when the ha- your hackles have gone up? Yeah, um, we had a meeting once at my house. Um, quite a few people turned up from all parts of the country, um, and he could, the way he operated in that meeting, I changed my views on him straight away. Hi there. Uh, this is an association with Chris Fear, with Neil and Katie Ivel. Uh, we've been working d- uh, together and have come up to basically produce a meeting which is going to be on the 15th of November. And what we're doing is we're making an appeal out to people who have suffered at the hands of the establishment of the social services of the CAFCAS uh, officials and of the family courts who are having decisions and stuff made against uh, caring, loving parents and who are having their children taken away into what is known as forced adoptions. He was dividing everybody up in the meeting into two parts. Those people that are into this bit stay in this room and the other people in this room. If any of the other people tried to cross into each other's room, he was very sharp and controlling the way he was talking to them. Uh, there's a whole system of operations which works on a, on a basis of psychology rather than what you'd consider as done in the interest of the children. This is not the case, and this is something that I've, I've found and has turned around and proved time and time again that more and more uh, innocent children and in, innocent parents are being separated by the system for monetary reasons because the system can turn around and put out unabused children much easier through a forced system, and the social services are making extreme amounts of money regarding this. Ed didn't want one, one part of the room. And, yeah, and, and he was going in between the two. He was going in between the two and making sure. NLP and all yeah. that common purpose yeah. stuff. And yeah, I, I neuro-linguistic program. I didn't like. This isn't just in one area. This isn't just in the, the, in the Dunstable area or where we're actually holding the meeting. This is more than a nationwide concern. This is actually a Commonwealth concern. And it's a system of operations which is a multi-billion pound operation. This is something which is turned around and publicly put out. It is put into what's known as the alternative media. Thank you for having me here today and uh, thank you to the main speaker who come up with some very important points. Logged loads of stuff in my mind that you said that identified with what I'm about to talk about. Sadly I can't remember any of it because I'm a bunch of it. Uh, I and several of the people that I work with, it's not just me, I'm just a persona, I'm a front man. The people behind me are the people that do the work behind the scenes. Um, I and several other people that work behind the scenes work for the security, the integrity and the longevity of your campaigns. It doesn't matter who you are, yeah, we've jumped on board with many campaigns, but we, we're quiet in the background. We make sure your security, your integrity and your longevity is consistent with what you are trying to do. We've got what's called the UK column, which you might want to turn around and Google. And what they do is they kind of um, skim across the outside of the truth which is going on. Um, but the truth of the matter is, at any one time, there's up to 900 children are being put through a system of operations of into being put into care, having no actual concerns um, for them, but basically on the grounds that the crop system, and this includes the solicitors that work through the courts, are basically following a whole system of operations, which is boils down to narcissistic abuse and then uh, I met Katie yeah uh, and me and Katie got talking um, but he'd already come he had already spoke to me about Katie saying oh, watch Katie she's this she's that and to be fair I'd really say, yeah I'd, yeah I take people on face value yeah I didn't know him I didn't know Katie yeah I got in I got to know them I got to know Katie and I, I got to know Julian yeah and it, it didn't take me long before I thought there was something something not right by. and you can ask him he'll clarify it yeah I said, there's something not right about that guy, don't bring him around the house again. And this is actually a biasness against loving, caring parents. These are what is known as empathic personality types. And when you have the different personality types, you have empathic, apathic, you have narcissistic, sociopathic, and then psychopathic different people. Katie. Uh, with that, I'm going to open the floor to Katie. Katie, tell us, tell us a lot about a little bit. Judas and what happened well, to you. Your experience. Start. First time I came out of speaking to anyone was the 3rd of March, today, a year ago. And I went up to the Royal Courts of Justice and I was following the Hampstead case. And that's when I came out with my own story of what Hertfordshire have done, everything that's going on. That's not when I met him, but on the 15th of June there was another meeting up at the Royal Courts of Justice with Patrick Cullinan. Now, we're here 
This is Julian Coulter. Coming out doing the Magna Carta because that's the 800 year anniversary. Yeah. I come across the crossing and I brought my friend Sean with me. We come across the zebra crossing coming straight over and we can see Julian just staring at me. Didn't know what was going on. That Julian Coulter or Patrick Cullinan will not be committing suicide. And we're putting this on record. Nor will we be coming mentally ill or having any strange accidents. The, 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 the incident with, um, was it Bournemouth, was it the Brighton? Patrick Cullen and Oh yeah, yeah. And myself and there was um, John Patterson there and that. And Julian was there, Katie was there. Um, and, and that's where I met Julie, that, that's, that's the day I met him. Yeah. And he, he mentioned certain things about Patrick Cullinan, which is a good friend of mine. Mm. And I think he's a fantastic guy. And yeah. The work he's doing is fantastic. Yeah. And he was a bit negative towards him. The, the video, telltales, yeah. and it, it stemmed from them. Where then he yeah. was, then he was on about so just different people. And then with the meeting, I come to the conclusion that he's working for the opposite side. That's my opinion. Yeah. So then, then he was on about certain things about Kate. Walked over. Um, saw Patrick, he said I'm going to talk to you in a minute, but <coughs> from there onwards Julian stood right by me, did not leave my side and started telling me how I was empathic, altruistic, I've got all of these traits, um, that he knew how my family had treated me, he knew all the in-depths of how I'd been treated, how I'd been blacklisted, I was a scapegoat, I was a black sheep of the family, um, how my family were purposely doing these things to me because of my nature and how my nature interacted in with his nature we were brought together by some almighty god but those certain things the things he prayed on i started to realize when i'd cut off on the third or fourth of october last year um i'll explain in the middle is that he actually had gone over and over my video yeah, he's a human being he's one of us he's a human being as, as it should be you, what do you look for his empathy yeah. 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 uh, you look on his youtube he's like my video He's explained that's where he first saw me from. Um, and I believe <coughs> that I was targeted from there. I was empathic. Empathic, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm now starting to understand this part of, uh, yeah. I believe, NLP. Cameron and Blair, they have no compassion. They've been murdering innocent women and kids for, for decades. And we're, we're going to stop it. Uh, when the, the mother is empathic, and the father is narcissistic. The father is actually lose, uh, is actually winning the children. What Julian? What this person said about? He didn't mention no names. He didn't mention. He just mentioned that he was working with somebody on a case, wasn't it? On a case that he'd helped you go. F this person he'd helped go from being nothing to somebody being high up that had got your been having no life. To have your life being brought back to you, yeah, that's, that's but the nice way, thing. the way he put it, the way he was putting it, that he done so wonders for you, for or for this person. We didn't know who this no, person this was at the time. He's about, uh, he he made it out to us that if we went towards him, he would do. He would what do he so would much do better than everybody else that he done for you and this that's other how person. Yeah, how he came in with that the original way of coming in now I'm very private I don't let many people into my life and he said he had worked with over 800 people and he worked for the pear shaped charity and that's how and because of the way that I've been judged mentally I had to take myself literally up to Harley Street pay 350 pounds to get the social workers off my back I allowed this man into my life because he said he wanted to be my brother knowing I have mm. no family and I also work with people like New Fathers for Justice, Stop the War on Dads, the Stolen Children of the UK. And over the last three weeks, I have been bombarded with email, uh, emails and Facebook messages that all contain the same name, which raises my heckles a little bit, so I've done a little bit of research, with, again, with people that I work with. Um, and it turns out that the, the name that keeps getting re... re um, uh, 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 pointed towards me every time um, is involved in a lot of uh, activist campaigns. Now, um, a good example is everyone knows Gordon Bowden, everyone knows John Patterson, and everyone knows Paul Halaney. 
they all work together and they're trying to expose uh, 778 Finchley Road. Is it 778? Yeah. 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 That's my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. Um, from what I've seen. Yeah. And from With uh, some mothers that are trying to get their children back. And evidence has been brought to us that when this particular person gets involved, division is formed. You mentioned division earlier about how division is brought in. And I've, I've text messages and I've heard audio conversations with this man involved. Um, and he is, he is, he's started to become very prolific in the activist area. So I'm now bringing this to the public's light. Why? Because I am Joe Public. I work for you. Right, I'm here talking to you two ladies tonight about a certain individual that's been in involved in your lives or has involved himself in your lives. And we're going to refer to that man tonight as Judas, yeah? so as to be able to keep this video up, or that man. Now, um, I want to start with you and ask you, where was the first time you came across this man and what gave you the concerns you have now? first time I came across this man was at a, a, a meeting. Basically, if I continued to allow him around me, my son is okay at the moment, but he would be gone in a secure unit. I would be homeless. I would be dead. That's how it got to the point. The 2nd of October, I phoned mental health after I hadn't phoned him for two years. Because he got up there. Because what of the, do you do, Katie, though? Katie, Katie, no, but Katie, Katie, you're not how? listening. Yeah, this talking. Oh. Katie, yeah. Katie, NLP. I know that you're NLP. not listening. It's you're not system. listening. Yeah. Katie, Katie, Katie. No, but you're Julian, listening. please. But Julian, this please. This is exactly what he did. This is exactly what he did. Yeah. 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 It would drain me. So. <coughs> that, um, my friends suggested that I attend to basically out the corruption in social services. Uh -huh. um, we went to. We were dubious about going to this meeting, but we went to this meeting and there were probably about 20, 30 other families there, or at least members of, of families there. Um, and basically this man started talking, and at first he sounded like he knew, obviously, about all the corruption and everything, and then the things that we'd been through um, with um, social services, etc. And he basically turned around and made us believe at first that, that he knew what we were talking about, he knew what we'd been through. He said that we were very, very empathetic, probably the most empathetic people that he had ever met. Um, but that whenever anybody else tried to speak, he co constantly stepped in place and he kept sort of over speaking everybody else. Um, every time we tried to speak, he would try and over speak us or try and get us to change our versions of what we were saying. Um, yeah. Very, very, he was a very linguistic man. Um, so at 7 30 in the morning, phoned yeah. me if I didn't reply. Yeah. I actually had to take myself away for the whole weekend to go camping with my son. He used that weekend to go to my sister's home address because that's the day I took him back on the child abuse rally so we could get my sister back home safely. He then went back without my knowledge whilst I was away because I wouldn't answer my phone. 14 missed calls. When I answered it, I said, What's wrong? He said, Oh, I thought I'd come camping with you. Excuse me, I'm going camping with, with my, my, boy, my yeah. child and my friend. I don't know you very well. Oh, but you need to trust me. Listen, you can come out with as many psychological words as you want to come and tell me, but when I'm telling you yeah, that there's a four, trust yeah. level, it's no, like you're, you're trying to now, yeah, it's yeah. to the point where he came to my home sitting there till five o'clock in the morning. Yeah. I had my court case going on with, with. I have that to get in, in the point where I was representing myself. Yeah. I represented myself in my son's case, so in this one I felt. Great, I was going to do it. That wasn't because of him. No, it was because I took my child. In spite of him, it was because I took my child abuse right. situation back. Right. I'd got right. justice, and I'd gone fuck you to the social workers, right. and I'd gone right. further than it to end than anything. So I could have brought those cases last year. Right. His aim was to stop it from going forward. It nearly happened to the point now I had to get solicitors involved. I won't do it myself. I can't represent myself. Very, very capable of, of trying to make you say what he wanted you to say rather than what you wanted you to say. Did you, did you feel that um, you were being manipulated at the time or do you feel now that you were manipulated with um, some, some techniques maybe? Um, I felt very, I had a gut instinct that there was something that I didn't quite get with him. Um, I felt that there was something not quite right, but with what he was saying, it, it made it very believable. 
mm. and the, the way he spoke with the words he was using it made it very believable and you know with with the other families in the room he he was like uh, well this this you know did they say this to you did they say that to you and everybody's hands were going up mm. Yeah. He, he knew what he was saying, he knew mm. what he was doing. In there till five o'clock in the morning, saying that we, hurry, we had to hurry up and get this email in, email in. No, we didn't, I have to focus on something else. So he kept trying to distract me from what needed to be done, yeah. all to get what he, oh, but I've come here and I haven't asked you for money, but I haven't asked you to come to my home, I haven't asked you to help Guilt me with trip. this. Did you feel that this was <coughs> psychological? Um, it was psychological. He it, told it was me, always in your head. It's in your head it, stuff. It's, it is psychological, and I explained to him by what social services I can take them for psychological. He said to me, "There is not one case that has been proven anybody can be done for psychological." No. That was a, a ringer in my my head. You don't know the law. Definitely. You don't know certain things when I'm trying to discuss with you. You're trying to come to me, talk to me about the Bible. Yeah, I'm not very religious, but I know you're talking shit. Well, come to and the then, Bible, the the, then the second bit, you you. you you're talking shit in my ear. Mm. Still had a gut instinct that there was something not quite right. And when you're talking to me, it doesn't it doesn't sit well. Yeah. So the more he carried on, the more he carried on. This is the um, the bones of it. But I mean, when it comes to actually helping, how much help has he provided you since? Um, he, he he's he's just basically given us grief. He's basically tried to drive um, a wedge between myself and my friend here. He has basically turned around and told my friend that her life was in danger and I was the one putting her life in danger. And how, how is that? E elaborate. I mean, it's okay to elaborate. He, he rang a friend of, a fr uh, another friend of mine um, saying to them, you need to, you need to tell her to get hold of this Judas person because he's uh, afraid for her life because the people that she's talking to and the people that she's communicating with at the moment is putting her life at danger. He then slaughtered us both on Facebook stating that um, stuff that we were said and stuff that we had done when um, we had done a thing for our own children. Um, because I kept re I kept refusing to go off with him. Doing yeah. what he'd done through Tracy. Hang on, me. Is my... a, time, a time frame on that. 15th of November, uh, 15th of, I've got the, the yeah, date, 15th yeah, of June. Then the 3rd of September we had Brighton court. Yeah. So I was supposed to be one of this seven. He kept trying to make a group of seven of important people. I said, look, people aren't higher than anybody else. Can't come over. Seven. Yeah. He also tried getting in between me and my husband. He tried telling my husband that um, I didn't know what I was talking about, that he should listen, uh, my husband should listen to him. Trying to put a wedge between everybody, family, friends, uh, me and my husband, telling my husband that he knew better. And if we wanted our children back, that my husband should take more notice of him and not do what I told him to do. Um, vice versa with myself and my friend. He told me to stay away, that if I if I kept on going with them, that I'd lose my children altogether because at the end of the day, they weren't helping me get my children back. They were being narcissistics. And if the only way I wanted my children back was to go alongside him and believe in what he said. And he was more preaching that if God wants your children back, God will give you your children back. God took your children for a reason. The only reason you're on this world is because God gives you a path to... So he was very religious. He get, he, there was a very a religious undertone yeah, about the much, whole thing. Very much so. But he wanted you to believe in what he was saying. If, he, if you didn't believe in him, He'd constantly ring you, he'd constantly text you, he'd constantly Facebook you. Because I've met a lady called Angela um, at the Royal Court of Justice in the March, I became very close with her. So how I saw it is God answers my prayers, I had brother and sister, but Angela was supposed to be coming to the Brighton meeting. For me to go overnight with him in his van, come down to Brighton, so that I was supposed to meet up at this campfire, which in the end, I didn't go. I went with my friend and my sister and I said, no, sorry, I'm not going with you. We're going to yeah. go our own thing, but... When we found out, Angela never turned up, nobody was there, it was just him okay. on his own. And it was the constant taking you away, taking me away from my child and saying, I said, look, I've got to look after my child. Oh, but she'll look after him. Oh, but the, his total disregard for my child, the fact that he even existed, <coughs> the fact that I was a mother, the fact that I was going through what I was going through, the fact that, that my court case, we had, the fact that my operation in the July is what I'm saying to you, the fact that the, the, the constant to, mm. to drain me down. 
So he played mind games with you in other different ways that you couldn't think yeah. that mind games could be played. Do you know what I mean? I had 15 phone calls in one day off this bloke. And, what happened um, when you didn't reply? Oh, he left shitty sh messages on my aunt and phone. If you want, that's no way you're going to get your kids back if you don't answer me. Really? Um, my husband in the end, my husband turned around and said, "Look, leave us alone. We're yeah. going through right channels. We're going through uh, solicitors and everything, and we don't need your help." Well, you, yeah. in in that situation, you're never going to get your kids back. You might say goodbye to your children. It's pretty clear that he's um, tried to divide you and your husband, and to divide you and your your friend um you know over over these issues and and, and and what you're saying is he's come along to help this is idea his idea of helping he's, he's, he comes across that he wants to help but he also wants to put um boundaries between everybody he comes across oh yeah i'll help you i'll do this i'll do that but in the meantime he wants to separate people he doesn't want to help people this is not helping sort of thing like, no, he wasn't you. helping at all. He made it worse. Everything was everything worse. He done everything was worse. He started everything. to fall apart. To the point apart. now, yeah. where, well, you know where my son is now, maybe. you know where my ho housing yeah. situation is now. But you're That's in control of it now. I'm in control of it now because I've gone right. nuts. Right. But Good. he's now went and thrown yeah. onto my sister. How did it go from him concentrating on you and supposedly helping you? Because he was helping me with a And then all of a sudden, the sister's in the phone. What happened? Because apparently my sister's relationship was toxic and she was abusing me. So he was giving me advice on my sister. Okay. And basically on that advice, I was supposed to keep away from my sister because I kept telling him no and went down to Brighton with my sister, come down to the child abuse rally. He didn't like it, so he would do little things like get himself the child abuse teacher and me the child abuse teacher and completely disregarded my sister. So yeah. that made an mm. argument with my sister, so she thinks that I've set it up. Division. Yeah. yeah, and so yeah, she's yeah, thinking yeah, in yeah, the yeah. videos, I'm winking at him and I've set her yeah. up to make her look like a fool. Yeah. So mm. 10 years of trust and supporting her with Julian, talking about anything else, it's my sister coming out of the house, getting her clothes, feeling good about herself. That's when it kicked <coughs> off, when he phoned her on Do the bus. Do you feel at any time that like Judas had come in on to you? At any time. In mid-September, yeah, he did. You do. Yeah. Now, do you think that he's coming on? Do you think that he's coming on to your sister? He did come on to my sister. So we have proof that he's come on to you, and he's come on to your sister. Yeah. Is anybody else here that he's come on to? He hasn't come on to us. He's sort of like. Uh, with my on. case, no, he, yeah, 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 it is. It's very with yeah. my case, he, um, we had a meeting on the December, didn't we? Um, at the time, we were talking to Lee and Donna, and because he, because I kept saying I was going to the meeting, he then turned it and flipped the coin the other way and took it onto my husband, and kept saying to him, "Oh no, you don't need to go to this meeting. If you go to that meeting, you're going to show them that you're weak." So then. He felt that because the way he came across that he knew everything. He so to it. him, he loves his kids dearly. Don't get of me course. wrong. Do you know what I mean? That's all he wants is his children home. Yeah. So to him, as a father, he thought this bloke knows everything. He's yeah. going to go down that bloke. We missed a, an important meeting. Now we've been fucked over hard he for this meeting. About He's now destroyed by going your sister's abusing you by proxy, then comes in and tells my sister that, tells me that if I'm going to work with your sister, which I said, look, I'm not in agreement, if that's what my sister wants, then that's what she wants. Being her sister, I can talk to the cows come home. She's not listening to me. Maybe somebody else, okay, fine. Right, you need to stop talking to her. So, uh, okay, I understand. I've got to stop talking, then I'll stop talking. But for 10 years, my sister hasn't taken the choice to take herself out of the house with a bit of money and go shopping. She chose to say to me, Katie, can we go to Watford? I'll come over, get on a train, which she never does. I'm all the, I've always constantly gone to her because she's not come to mind. Brilliant, great, let's go and get some shopping. That's not sitting down talking. He wants to big himself up that, look at what I've done, look what I've done. Do you know what I mean? In over two weeks, we've heard of 800 people that he was supposed to help. It yeah. hasn't helped at all. He's just wrecked families' lives if, and he's getting away with it. If I can just come back to you, um, you've heard what has just been said. Do you concur with that? Is, is this yeah. your... No, I definitely concur with that because every time I disagreed with what he said, every time I didn't go along with what he said, he was trying to manipulate other people into thinking the same things that he was thinking. Yeah. He, he, was, he was then slating me and, and another person across Facebook. He was... Cl 
um, classing a lot of slanderous stuff, yeah. um, saying that I was doing this or I was doing that or I had knowledge of this and I had knowledge of that. With no factual evidence. There's no factual evidence at all. Yeah. Like you letters and everything. Within, that was at 7 o'clock that evening. He texted him five times that night. The following day, he rang us how many times? Lost count. Yeah, he exactly. Just phoning, he just kept phoning and phoning and phoning and phoning. He was texting. He yeah. was constantly Couple calling, yeah. leaving yeah. messages on the answer phone. Because we weren't answering him, yeah. it was like, why do you bother? And then he put the sly comments on Facebook. And the one last thing I wanted to touch on was um, with, with, with yourself, that um, um, Judas um, had, had actually made a point of, of saying, you, you should stay away from certain people. You should only concentrate on me. You yes. should just... You know, the, uh, I I am the gateway to your children. Yeah. Um, at any time, uh, did, did you feel that there was uh, a resemblance of um, training in what he was doing? Did was did you feel that he was out for you um, to, to 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 undermine what you were doing? Uh, very yeah. much so. He gave her all to me that she was not to have him on her Facebook unless she cut me off. And then from there we've been cut off since December. Um, the, the way that he's got into her head, saying yeah. that I've abused her by proxy because of Tracy's uh, situation of abuse by proxy. He's now yeah, he's using that word. Um, when it all happened, he then put up mm -hmm. a big Bible on Facebook saying, Katie Boyle's done this. And I just haven't responded because I know who I am. Yeah. And you, mate, you're a fucking liar and you're going to... Every yeah. time I try to That's confront, he's walked off. And your pear-shaped charity that you set up on the 1st of April. The 1st of April you set that up, didn't you? No. Sorry, I've got the pictures. Are you going to deny that again? When he writes, a sad day, but as a result, the truths are out and undeniable. Once, but once questionable past history that falls into place, and a personal evidence of a victim's realization gets confirmed. Apparently, my sister was the victim. I was abusing my own sister. Then he says, so fully expecting now the attack and backwash for myself, the true victim that has been pulled out of the variable. Uh, inevitable and textbook character assassination from Katie Boyle. No, I'm not prepared to do that. I'll come to your face. You've put that on Facebook. I don't put it over Facebook. I'll come to your face. That's the difference. I went to his face in Leeds and the man ran off. I'm here because you tried to kill my sister and you'd be aware of it. I've got nothing to hide and I've got nothing to prove. It doesn't matter either way. It doesn't matter. I'm not jealous. This man came in and decided to tell me. You see, I can't talk. You're controlling it. Thank you. You've just proved it. You've done the window up so I can't expose you. You see, you don't you can do it to anybody else in that building. I will still talk, but when you try to kill my sister, no, that's my sister. So I've got the recording. Where he's run off. He was sort of like say, well, that person ain't right for you. There was one occasion with myself I um did a thing in London and um, he put it all across the Facebook and the internet that I was in the wrong position at the wrong time, I shouldn't have done it. Now, I didn't see no wrong in that, neither did my husband. If my husband thought anything was seriously wrong, he would have said something, yeah. which my husband didn't, and neither did I. It was, a, it was all friends in a room together, having a laugh and a joke, but he had to go one step further. He had to put, oh, you're not going to get your children back because you're relying on this, but I don't rely on anybody. I'm not scared of anybody, and I'm not petrified of anybody. As far as I've been holding myself back before, no, I, to not yeah. be arrested for trespass under harassment or whatever, section four, is what he's trying to get me to do. When you talk to people, you know like when you confront whoever's the abuser, right? People will get to see his own actions like they did in Leeds. To set it up and people nearly believed it. But in a sense, it took the real question as the, 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 the thing that people didn't ask. You don't tell people to calm down. You ask the question, why is this woman kicking off like that? You don't sit there and try and get the woman to yeah. calm down. You start asking the questions, why? That then gets people to ask why. Why is she upset like that? What's going on? I can speak out, right? But he has done it. I'm not sitting here saying I'm the only one, but he knows I've got so much on him, I'm not going to just let it go. The man needs to be stopped now, and if I just come out and talk, yeah. 
The man's just going to get away with it. He's got 700 plus well, people on his Facebook that sit there and believe the bullshit. But yet he uses the manipulated, oh, well, you want to be scared of that person. So then you stand back and you look at yourself again. And mm. yet again, you constantly, well, did I do that right? Did I do that yeah. right? Have I done that wrong? He's, yeah. con he's mind games. He's a mind fucker. If you could sum that up in one word, what he's doing to you, um, what would you use? Mind fuck up. And yourself? Very manipulative. Me, I'd use that control. Yes. Yeah, control. Yes. Yeah. So, I, on that, I'd like to thank you for talking to us and leave it at that. Thank you. Thank you. I don't give a monkeys about any activist or anyone that says they're doing something. My allegiances and my loyalties are to the public. So, having looked at all the evidence and having seen that uh, there are audio conversations out there uh, telling telling people, like, telling sisters, a good example is two sisters, one has lost a child, and uh, this man gets involved, he befriends the vulnerable mother who's lost a child, and she says, I've only got uh, my sister that I've contact with, with my family. He immediately contacts the sister and says, you have no more contact. I don't want you talking to her anymore. It's division. Yeah? It's shutting people down. Yeah? Keeping it divided. This man has been very prolific. Apparently he was up at Leeds um, last week. And it's a the divide. You know, uh, two groups immediately divide, divide, divide. And he's here to destroy a lot of things. Yes, sir? Is he the kind of guy that will take over the running of the meeting? He will try. I've not met and, him. And also, does he claim to have some sort of knowledge of psychology? Um, well, there is a, there is a, a darker, sinister side to his character. Because his name's Julian Coulter, he references JC and has this God thing going on as well. So, if you can imagine a cult and a cult leader, this is the epitome of one of those. Um, I've got no qualms in saying that. Bear in mind, I've never met him. But I've also been given all the details about why he's slagging me off. So, I've just been told that the, the guy that I suspected it, it was, um, was is the same person. Yes, it is. It's, it's I, become... I was at a meeting that he took over and ran, and yeah. quite a lot of us in the room were suspicious of him there. Yeah, well, you know who it was? I, I've never met him, but I, I'm, I'm good at reading my Facebook and my emails. When I get an influx of, uh, of information about someone with lots of discontent, saying this is the problem he has caused with us, I then put all those together and I see a pattern. And the pattern is, this man has an agenda. And it is not your well-being. Yeah? So, I, my, my warning to you, and my, my red flag to you, is be very wary of this man, research this man, know what he looks like, and when you see him come towards you or your group, or try and single or pick off Joe, someone... When's this yes, man? I don't know that. And in fact, <laughs> once he sees this, hopefully he won't, because the door is shut, firmly shut. What? To this man, it's he's already been up. Been on he's been on that camp. He's been hanging on his girl. That, that's, all I, that's all I wanted to say. That's all I, that's all I wanted to say about it because a, I haven't met him, but I have been getting um, feedback. To, he seems to have a lot to say about me, which is good because everyone has a lot to say about me. And, you know, I've been involved in Tom Crawford's. I've been involved in um, Mickey Summers. I, I will get involved in anything that the public should know about. And right now, I think Nottingham is still the place to be to build the nucleus of that. And that's where it starts here today. Thank you. For a dude who has a lot to say, he doesn't seem to answer the phone very often, does he? And he doesn't have voicemail, so... Uh... Yeah. Well, that's probably on purpose. But for a man who does a lot of chatting in people's fucking ear rolls, here he goes Once again. Once again, he's terminated yeah. the call. Bless him.